You're hearing the Paul W. Smith Show, News Talk 760, WJR. 850, 10 minutes away from 9 o'clock. In the circle of life, as we celebrate a birthday, we also remember someone who passed away. Impossible to believe for some of us of a certain age. It was 41 years ago today, he was just 61, that we lost Bob Eufer. Eufer of Michigan, the voice of Michigan football. He was not just the voice of Michigan football on this radio station and others. He also happened to be a, a track star. And as a, an athlete, as a track and field athlete, he set the world indoor record of 48.1 seconds uh, in his event. And uh, that's pretty incredible. Um, in the 440-yard quarter-mile run, he was selected as an All-American in 1943. But it was his work behind the microphone, including at WJR, that made him the superstar he will always be. And there are people about to hear Bob Eufer. They've never heard him before because he passed away 41 years ago today. Let's listen to a little tape. It is snapped. It's spotted. It's kicked. It's end over end. And it is... It is, it is good, no good, no good, oh no, 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 no. Look at the people on the field, there are 16 seconds left. Mike Lantry misses a field goal. The goal posts are down. If you'd never heard uh, Bob Eufer before, you're a little jarred and shaken because he was not your typical announcer. He wore everything on his sleeve. His emotions were there. You never doubted that he was a homer all the way. And I, for one, miss him. And a guy who spent a lot of time with him and got me involved with uh, Bob Eufer um, over 41 years ago was Art Volo who has audio and video on most everyone who's ever been in broadcasting, but a special amount of video for anything having to do with Michigan. But uh, Hey, good morning, Art. Good morning, Paul. Yeah, you're talking about a track star. He had a pretty good run on the radio, too, didn't he? He had a great <laughs> run on the radio, and, you know, you could walk through the parking lots and people tailgating would have one of his albums on, one of the albums you produced that featured mm -hmm. Bob Eufer, and I'm, I'm thrilled to say, don't get to talk about it very much, but I was on the very first album you produced called right. Eufer of Michigan that we put mm -hmm. together in your basement with Bob Eufer. That's right. That's right. And I was standing in that very studio when Ann called me this morning, but the signal on the phone wasn't so good, so I'm up in the kitchen. Yeah, I said, uh, but, I said yeah, talk to him on his regular phone, because uh, yeah. speaking with you earlier on your cell phone, I knew that wasn't going to work. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll tell you, it's, uh, he's become, as I said to Ann, I said, you know, he's sort of become the Walt Disney of today. You know, Walt Disney died, I think, in 1965 or 6, I think it was, and, and he's still relevant to this day. Bob Eufer died 41 years ago, I can't believe it, and yet, boom, he's still known by people, like you say, of a certain age, that remember him from the little station in Ann Arbor, and then in 1976, he jumped to the 50,000 watts of WJR. And he was he was crying to me and saying, there are people that don't like me, Art. What am I going to do? And I said, Bob, you're no longer on that little station in Ann Arbor. You're on this big monster that goes clearly into Columbus, Ohio. So, you know, some <laughs> people don't like you. Some people, more people like you than don't, believe me. I oh, my <laughs> gosh. Absolutely. Uh, he, he was not neutral. As announcers no, no, these no. days are supposed to be, there was nothing neutral. As we could hear about, he wanted that field goal against Ohio State to be good. Oh, it's yeah. good. It's good. No good. No good. Yeah, we put a, remember, we put a little echo on that. It's not yes. like he was going into the pit of doom, you know. But that, remember, we we were arguing constantly back and forth about what would go on the album and what would not. He said, "Well, this has got to be on." Well, I said, "But Bob, there's no room. Oh, we got to include this." And, and you were sitting there as a poor third party, you know, and you had, you had just gotten married. And you, I just, and listen, you, I remember sitting there feeling like at 2, 3 in the morning, I was yeah. in the middle 
of a quarrel between two guys that I had no say. I was just waiting for you to decide so I could do the announcing portions of that first album, You for Michigan. And let me tell you something. You guys really were at each other's throats at times. We were. We were. But, but the product was great, though, Paul. You know, and we squeezed 29 and a half minutes of audio on each side of that piece of vinyl. And, of course, you know, vinyl is coming back. I know people that have the actual record, and they're playing the actual album again. But they didn't think it would track. There's something you don't hear anymore. Track on people's turntables because it was so much audio on that, and the record company was concerned about it. But the people get their money's worth with that thing. And now it's on CD, and we don't have to worry about that. So, Seems just, very hard to believe that this is a long time ago. the 41st anniversary oh. of his that last game. And that last game that he called, sadly, Michigan lost. I think it was 9-7. to seven was the score against the Iowa Hawkeyes. And, um, but they did a great, remember they had the banner, they ran under it. Said, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ufer, uh, Bob Eufer, we, M Club supports you. It was just a tremendous day. So we'll, we'll never to, forget it, Paul. Thanks to Thomas W. Eufer, Bob's son, who <laughs> reminded me that today is the day, and he had laryngitis, couldn't join us. I'm so glad, Art Volo. Hey, how do people get your videos? You videotape every game and have for years. How do they get it? Real yeah, quick. Yeah, go to, go to, just go to my website, Volo Video. It's VU. But the V like Victor, a U like Uncle, V U O L O, Volo Video dot com. You can all find right. it all under Michigan football. Keep up the good work, Arthur. Thanks much. God bless. Take Paul. All righty. That's Art Volo. Anything Michigan, frankly, anything broadcasting, we go to Art because he has it. I want you to stand by for news. Meanwhile, go on out, make it a great rest of the day, and we'll hopefully wake up with you tomorrow from 6 till 9. Regards, Paul W. Smith. This is the great voice of the Great Lakes, 760 WJR, Detroit, a Cumulus Media Station.